Another picture of the road there. There you go. And the sky. A little bit of the trailers. Through the door. Inside. Lazy dog. And this is going to be me doing another reading from The Way of the Wizard. And this is on Sunday evening. But you'll be seeing it on Monday. About midday. I have not narrowed down exact timing of when I want to upload certain videos yet. It's coming though. I, a lot's been going on and you know that if you've been watching me. Physically just uh, been drained ever since the puppies had died. That whole week was obliterating. And then last week trying to keep from getting full-blown sick. And then kind of dealing with an ongoing back issue that's just constant. So... Enough complaining, Grey Cloud. Uh, this is going to be Deepak Chopra's uh, The Way of the Wizard, Lesson 8. Uh, we're going to begin Lesson 8. Uh, and here we go. Power is a double-edged sword. Ego, <clears throat> ego power seeks to control and dominate. The wizard's power is the power of love. The seat of power is in the inner self. The ego follows us like a dark shadow. Its power is intoxicating and addicting, but ultimately destructive. The eternal clash of power ends in unity. Just before he left Merlin's care, Arthur became very moody. He was nearly 15, and he had already seen other people. Are you sad about going out among them, Merlin asked? After all, you are one of their kind. Arthur looked away. I am sad. But that's not the reason why. Then what is it? I want to ask you something, but I don't know how, or if I should. Go ahead. Arthur looked doubtful. It's not about any lesson you've taught me. Yet more than anything, I want to know. That is, if you would tell me. He paused, tongue-tied. Arthur nodded happy to have been saved by Merlin's intuition. Wait, wait. Oh, he paused tongue-tied. You want to know what it's like to be in love, perhaps. That was Merlin responding. Okay, I missed a line there. Arthur nodded, happy to have been saved by Merlin's intuition. The old wizard <coughs> thought for a moment and said, First of all, do not be ashamed, because you've asked about a truly important thing. There's something about being in love that cannot be captured in words. But come with me. Merlin led Arthur out into a clearing where the noon sun shone. In Merlin's hand, a lighted candle appeared, which he held up against the sun. Can you see whether it's lit or not, he asked. No, said Arthur. The sun was so bright that it made the candle flame invisible. But look, Merlin said. He held a ball of cotton next to the candle, and it was promptly burned up. What does that have to do with love, the boy asked. But Merlin didn't reply. He only took a wild chintian flower and squeezed two drops of its juice onto Arthur's fingers. Taste, he ordered. Arthur made a face. It's very bitter. Merlin led him to a lake and told him to wash his hands. Now taste the water, he ordered. Is any trace of bitterness there? No, Arthur admitted. But what does this have to do with love? Again, Merlin didn't reply but led the boy deeper into the forest. Sit still, he said softly. Arthur did as he was told. After a moment, a mouse crept out into the field some yards away. A shadow passed overhead, but before the mouse could move, it was snatched up by an eagle, which flew off with its prey to a nest high in the cliffs. Baffled, Arthur said, But you said you were going to teach me about love. What did anything you showed me have to do with that? Listen, his master said. Like the candle that becomes invisible held next to the sun, your ego will dissolve in the overwhelming force of love. Like the bitter taste that is undetectable, undetectable once it is diluted by the lake, your life's bitterness will be as sweet as the freshest waters when mixed with love. And like the prey devoured by the eagle, your self-importance will become a glint in the eye of the love that eats you up. I'm just absorbing it all. Thanks for watching, everybody. 
hopefully, hopefully I'll do something random tomorrow for a video. And also I need to be thinking about Tuesday and Thursday for comics and toys related stuff. I've got ideas. I just, last week was really, I think it was more pulverizing than the week of the actual puppies. I, it was because I was coming out of that stress and then getting a little bit sick plus dealing with my back anyway i started the video with that same sentiment so i'm ending it i guess but uh you get the drill you understand and if you don't i don't know what else to say uh until next time mr cloud says at the eternal moment humble ears over and out ditto